Gallup was the first polling organization to conduct accurate opinion polling for United States presidential elections. Gallup polling has often been accurate in predicting the outcome of presidential elections and the margin of victory for the election winner. However, there were some close elections that it missed, such as 1948, 1976, 2004 and 2016, the popular vote in 2000 and the likely voter numbers in 2012. The month section in the tables represents the month that the opinion poll was conducted in. D stands for the Democratic Party while R stands for the Republican Party. There were also some third parties included in some of these polls, such as the Dixiecrats and the Reform Party. United States presidential election, 1936 The Literary Digest famously predicted that Alf Landon would win based on mail in cards sent in from their readers. It had successfully predicted the winners of the elections in 1920, 1924, 1928 and 1932. Many people believed their forecasts. George Gallup predicted very different results based on statistical random sampling. The accuracy of Gallup's forecasts was a very visible demonstration of the value of modern statistical methods. The people who mailed in cards to the Literary Digest were more affluent with an overwhelmingly negative evaluation of Roosevelt. They were not representative of the voting public and it showed in the results. Incumbent President Roosevelt won because his New Deal programs were very popular among the American people, apart from the respondents to the Literary Digest poll. Republican nominee Alf Landon claimed that the New Deal was too costly and ineffective as well as that Roosevelt was slowly making the United States a dictatorship. However, these attacks did not gain much traction. Topic. United States presidential election, 1940 Throughout this campaign, Roosevelt promised that he would not bring the United States into any new wars if he was given another term and also promised to continue the New Deal. Wilkie attacked Roosevelt for seeking a third term and accused him of trying to turn the United States into a dictatorship by refusing to leave office. However, Wilkie's attacks gained little traction and Roosevelt consistently led in all the polls and was re-elected by a large margin. <laughs> United States presidential election, 1944 Roosevelt also actively campaigned in this election against his doctor's advice in order to counter Republican claims that he was close to death. Roosevelt maintained a consistent albeit sometimes narrow lead in the polls at all times and won a solid victory in this election due to the American successes in World War II and Roosevelt's popularity. Topic: <laughs> United States presidential election 1948 Incumbent President Truman's popularity was low at the end of 1946. However, he was able to regain his popularity by attacking the Do Nothing Republican Congress of 1947-1948 and tying Dewey to it as well as energizing certain segments of the Democratic base through various actions such as ending segregation in the military and recognizing Israel. Gallup and other polling organizations failed to identify Truman's comeback and to predict his victory in the 1948 election. United States presidential election, 1952 Dissatisfaction with the Korean War, corruption and the threat of communism allowed popular World War II hero Eisenhower to win the election in a huge landslide after consistently leading in the polls, mostly by large margins. United States presidential election, 1956 After consistently leading in the polls by huge margins, popular incumbent President Eisenhower was easily re-elected due to the economic prosperity at home and ending the Korean War abroad. <laughs> United States presidential election, 1960 
The polls throughout this election always indicated a very close race. Incumbent Vice President Nixon initially led in the polls, but then suffered some problems a poor image in the first television debate and a knee injury which prevented him from campaigning which caused Kennedy to take the lead in the polls for most of the campaign. In the end, Kennedy won an extremely narrow victory over Nixon. <laughs> United States presidential election, 1964 Incumbent President Johnson always maintained a huge lead in the polls due to massive popular sympathy following the assassination of John F. Kennedy, a good economy, lack of severe foreign problems and an effective campaign to portray Goldwater as a dangerous, out-of-touch extremist. Johnson won the election in a huge landslide as well. <laughs> United States presidential election, 1968 This campaign was always close according to the polls, but after the tumultuous 1968 Democratic Convention and the riots near it Nixon was able to establish a lead and consistently maintain it throughout the campaign. American independent candidate George Wallace ran in opposition to civil rights and in support of segregation and thus got a lot of support in the South. Humphrey began catching up to Nixon in the polls late in the campaign, but he ran out of time and Nixon won a narrow victory in the election itself. United States presidential election, 1972 Incumbent President Nixon was always able to maintain a huge lead over McGovern due to the economic recovery following the 1969–1970 recession and due to successfully portraying McGovern as a foreign policy lightweight and as a social radical. Amnesty, abortion, and acid. McGovern's campaign was also hurt by him having to change vice presidential candidates in the middle of the campaign, causing many people to question his judgment. <laughs> United States presidential election, 1976 Carter was able to open up a huge lead over incumbent President Ford due to dissatisfaction with Watergate, Ford's pardon of Nixon and the sluggish economy. Ford managed to close the gap near the end of the campaign by having some good debate performances among other things. However, Ford was hurt by his comment saying that there was no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe and he ran out of time to close the polling gap with Carter, thus allowing Carter to pull off a narrow victory on Election Day. United States presidential election, 1980 Incumbent President Carter initially had a huge lead in the polls due to the rally around the flag effect of the Iranian hostage crisis and the perceived extremism of Reagan. The continuing hostage crisis and the poor economy hurt Carter and the prospect John B. Anderson running as an independent appealed to around 20% of Americans who saw Carter as a lesser evil to Reagan. As a result, Anderson took a third of Carter's support in the spring, but did not seem to hurt Reagan despite Anderson being a Republican. Carter would never recover this loss of support while Reagan would end up peeling around two-thirds of initial Anderson voters. This race remained close until near the end, when Reagan asked Americans if they were better off than they were four years ago. Afterwards, Reagan managed to win a huge landslide victory in the general election. United States presidential election, 1984 Incumbent President Reagan led in all pre-election polls and was able to secure an easy victory over Mondale due to the improving economy and falling unemployment rate. United States presidential election, 1988 Dukakis was able to open a huge lead in the initial polls. However, Vice President Bush's campaign successfully portrayed Dukakis as soft on crime and also used the good economy, Reagan's popularity and Bush's no new taxes pledge to close the gap with Dukakis in the polls and eventually open up a huge lead over Dukakis. Bush ended up winning the general election. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> United States presidential election 1992. In the spring and early summer, the polls fluctuated with incumbent President Bush and independent challenger Ross Perot trading the lead in the polls. However, Perot withdrew from the race in July and Clinton was able to open up a consistent lead in the polls from July onward by blaming Bush for the poor economy and promising that he would fix it. It's the economy, stupid. Perot returned to the race in September, but he was never able to recapture all his previous support and Clinton ended up winning the general election by a comfortable margin. United States presidential election, 1996 Incumbent President Clinton held a comfortable lead in the polls throughout this entire election cycle due to the good economy and stable international situation. Clinton ended up winning the general election by a wide margin. United States presidential election, 2000 Carrot lost the popular vote, but won the electoral vote and thus won the election Carrot Carrot won the popular vote, but lost the electoral vote and thus lost the election This election was close throughout the whole campaign since Gore was able to use the good economy to his advantage while being hurt by perceptions of him as robotic and pompous. The Lewinsky scandal also might have hurt Gore and helped Bush in the polls among voters who were concerned about moral values. Finally, Gore was hurt by his refusal to campaign with incumbent President Clinton, which could have turned out more Democrats to vote. In the end, Gore won the popular vote, but very narrowly lost Florida in the initial vote count as well as multiple recounts, with the decision upheld by the Supreme Court, the electoral vote and thus the election. United States presidential election, 2004 This election was close throughout the entire campaign. Dissatisfaction with the Iraq War and with a sluggish economy helped Kerry. However, Bush accused Kerry of flip-flopping and the Swift Boat Veterans for Truth accused Kerry of being unpatriotic. A decisive moment came in a week before the election where Al-Qaeda released a video warning Americans if they re-elected Bush. Afterwards, Bush's poll ratings in decisive swing states gave Bush a comfortable lead. In the end, Bush managed to pull off a narrow victory in the general election. <laughs> United States presidential election, 2008 The campaign was close throughout the spring and summer, with Obama and McCain both trading leads. The economy went into a recession in December 2007, but initially Obama was hurt in the polls due to weak support from Hillary Clinton supporters. The Republicans also attacked Obama for being inexperienced and McCain got a temporary bump in the polls after he picked Sarah Palin to be his vice presidential nominee. However, the financial crisis which started in mid-September 2008 allowed Obama to open up a consistent and comfortable lead in the polls in the beginning of October. Obama won the general election by a comfortable margin. Topic: <laughs> United States presidential election 2012 Early on, President Obama and his campaign aired negative attack ads hammering Republican challenger Mitt Romney as an out-of-touch, plutocratic, wealthy job destroyer from his days as a corporate CEO at Bain Capital. Romney bounced back in the polls against the incumbent after strong performances in the primaries and because the economy was still recovering from the 2007-2009 recession. In April, after Obama publicly expressed his support of same-sex marriage and a story of Romney bullying a kid in high school perceived to be gay was published, Obama took larger leads in the polls, but Romney and the Republicans attacked Obama for falsely saying the economy was doing well, for welfare waivers and also China's unfair trade practices. Throughout much of the summer, May, July and August, with the exception of June, the polls stayed close as Romney made several gaffes on a foreign trip to Europe and Israel while visiting that month during the time of the 2012 Summer Olympics. After the conventions, it was clear that Obama had the lead as he led in all polls from every major publication. 
However, after Obama's poor showing in the first debate, Romney took the lead and had the polls tied in early October, up to mid-October. From mid-October onward, the Democrats regained their momentum. Obama won re-election by a relatively close margin in the popular vote, but by a large margin in the Electoral College. <laughs> United States presidential election, 2016 Carrot lost the popular vote, but won the electoral vote and thus won the election. Carrot Carrot won the popular vote, but lost the electoral vote and thus lost the election. Political outsider and businessman Donald Trump was seen unfavorably by many pollsters and pundits throughout the election. Many predicted he would lose by a close margin or by a blowout against Democratic opponent Hillary Clinton. However, Trump was able to win over many white blue collar workers within the Great Lakes and Rust Belt regions, which for many years had been Democratic strongholds. A decisive moment came with the letter by FBI Director James Comey over an investigation into emails related to the Clinton email server, which allowed Trump to surge in key states in the election. Clinton won the popular vote by 2.87 million, but ultimately lost the electoral vote to Trump and thus lost the election. See also Nationwide opinion polling for the United States presidential election, 2012 Nationwide opinion polling for the United States presidential election, 2016